Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. I don't remember a lot about what happened, because I haven't played this in a while, but I do remember that we just got into the, the dorms and the girl in the wheelchair is very mean to me for, for some reason. So let's... Go check it out. My first job as dorm mother. That is, to make breakfast for the boarders. Aoi-kun, ryori jōtsu da ne. Okawari. Sure, a big bowl, right? I'm pretty confident in my cooking. Until recently, I was living with my father, who was ordered to transfer to the country, and every day I helped with the housework. I was in charge of preparing the meals, and it's not like I hated cooking or anything. That's one of the reasons why I accepted the job as dorm mother. So the others don't need breakfast, huh? Since just now, no one has come into the dining hall. Sometimes there would be someone walking through the hallway in front, but they seem to be sneaking around. Mm -hmm. Hanako looked towards the hallway just as the oldest boarder Yuka was peeking in before swiftly dashing off. But Keifu is a co-ed school, right? I see. It seems that a guy being, in, being the dorm mother of the girls' dormitory will have its problems after all. Oops. There is a reason why I accepted the job as door mother at Flying Fish Manor. Not long ago, the owner janitor collapsed. It sounded like she's pretty old and as well as straining her back, she caught a summer cold, which became aggravated. The owners soon began looking for a replacement, but it was hard to find one. Then she sought help from the real estate company where my mother works. This is one of the properties that my mom manages, and is an old acquaintance of the owner from decades ago. She nominated me for this job just as I was planning to come back here. On the documents, my mom is the one responsible for this place, but she got me to carry out the practical duties, in other words, the work of the dorm mother. Then, that became the condition for me coming back to this town. As always, she's very crafty, but I wasn't really against the idea, so I accepted. If I'd known it was a girl's dormitory, of course, I would have refused. This place is old, a little far from the school, but the rent is cheap. Apart from the food and admin expenses, it costs next to nothing. That's why it would be a big problem for me if I couldn't stay here, and if in the worst case scenario, the boarders won't be able to go to school. So for now, it seems that everyone has accepted a guy as a dorm mother. Kanako stacked up the dishes on the counter and licked her lips in satisfaction. She had eaten it all, not even a single grain of rice was left. To have people enjoy my cooking feels pretty good. I feel deeply relieved. I'm happy that things are going well. Aw oh, jeez, I better get ready for school. <laughs> In the entrance of the dormitory, there was Kotori. 
She was dressed in her uniform and looked like she was about to go to school. Morning, Kotori. Uh, Are you going to school? Shall we go together? Why? Well... She put it bluntly as she quickly went out the front door. I don't have any friends at school, so I was just asking. It looked like we'd had a strange misunderstanding. Wearing my new uniform, I make my way to school. I'm a dorm mother, but also a student of Keifu Academy. I mean, this is, a, this is my real occupation. Today is the first day at my new school. I'm not really the shy type, but I guess I am kind of nervous. I would say that the school I was going to before was a sports-focused all-boys school. Keifu Academy, this school I'll be going to now, is an engineering school and a co-ed, and the school traditions are quite different too. As I walk the streets that lead to school, there are more and more groups of people wearing the same uniform. This is the same area in which I lived five years ago. There should be a few people that I know, but most of the people who I'd recognize went on to regular schools. I wonder if the ones who chose to go to k Academy remember, remember me. Even if I only know one person, it would make a big difference. There would be more weird misunderstandings with Miss Aluo too. Oh yeah, which school did do Ageha and the Agaha and the others go to? There are my childhood friends who I always played with when I was a kid. There is Agaha, Mabo, Hataru, and Anchan. Out of that group, Agaha and Mabo are the same age as me, but we haven't met in five years and haven't really stayed in touch. We just about managed to exchange New Year cards, but that reminds me, in the corner of last year's New Year card, I think there was a small message about which school we were planning to go to. What did it say? A lot of things happened, or maybe I'm just lazy, but I haven't told anyone apart from Anchan that I'm coming back. To be honest, I'm not even sure how I should be if I met them. With the ones like Agaha, she'd probably smash my face in. She'd say, why didn't you contact me? Or something. She looked and acted like a real tomboy. When I remember the past, it makes me smile, but... Oh. At the point where Toe Street leading to the school meet, there was a girl wearing a Keifu uniform standing there, looking towards me. The other girls that she was walking to school with asked, What's up? and seemed puzzled as they spoke to her. However, it seems that that girl can't hear them and she's staring over here at me. Just faintly her eyes seemed full of surprise. She's pretty cute. Without realizing, I'd stopped walking and was staring at the girl. Until a few days ago, I was going to an all boys school. The sight of a girl on the way to school in her uniform. She was pretty cute too, causing me to get palpa palpitations is perfectly reasonable. Yes, it is. Suddenly, having someone call my name in such a carefree manner made me feel a little nervous. Who is it? There, she said my name again and she has such a happy expression on her face. Is this Anchan? Do I know any girls this cute? No, wait, I've seen this face before. 
When she smiles like this, and her eyes sparkle like a little kid's... Oh, I was wrong. Is that you, Agaha? She asked as she briskly moved closer, bringing her face right up to mine. It's definitely Agaha. She's changed a lot, but if I just look at her face, there's no doubt that it's her. Is it really that, Agaha? What is it? What is it? said the other girls as they gathered around in a circle. Agaha turned to face them and introduced me. Sachin replied, No way! Aoi? And she warmly raised her voice in surprise. When we were in the fourth grade of elementary school, we were in the same class once. The girls seemed impressed by Agaha's explanation, and they looked at me with eyes full of expectation. Nice to meet you. I'm Aoi Minase. In front of all these girls in their uniforms, I greeted them with a stern look on my face as I tried to hide my embarrassment. Agaha laughed as she looked down with relish. I never thought I would find myself doing introductions in the street on the way to school like this, so I was totally unprepared. I'll say it again. Let me do it again. I could hear Miss Alo's voice in the back of my mind. As she spoke, Agaha was moving her hands around my head to show the difference in height between myself and her. Our bodies were making contact, but she either didn't notice or didn't really mind. I flinched slightly, but the fact that she was so unreserved actually made me feel more comfortable. Speaking of which, you've changed too. So? As she said, you think so, she looked at herself. Yeah, you always looked like a boy, so I was surprised to see that you became a girl. Those were my honest thoughts, but I said them in a way that sounded weird. I thought she might find it slightly charming, but... <laughs> Agaha laughed happily and did a little turn on the spot. The force of her spin made her skirt float round gently. Yeah, it's like you're not really Agaha. While dazed and not really thinking, those thoughts just kind of slipped out. Yay! Agaha was pleased and did high fives with her friends. Seeing her in high spirits like that was just like old times. Agaha, my best friend during my childhood, hadn't changed in the five years that had passed. Her appearance was surprising though. The lessons on my first day at my new school flew by in the blink of an eye. Between the language and social studies lessons taught in regular schools were those from a specialist curriculum. I was still in the second grade, so there aren't that many, but it looks like when you go into the third and fourth grades, the number of these specialist lessons increases. By the way, this is a five-year school. That's why when walking the hallways, this kind of thing happens. Hey, she's pretty. Coming from an all-boys school with its sad customs, I couldn't help my eyes from following the girls as I walked past them. No, that's not it. I just thought that they looked really grown up. That's all. Four or five 
At our age, a gap of three or four years is pretty big. Students in the upper grades look very mature. So, then, you know, you can't get a lot of money. You can't get a lot of money. You can't get a lot of money. Huh? Why is that? Without thinking, I really took an interest in that, and Aga looked at me as if she wanted to call me a pervert. I'd heard that. I'd heard about that before I transferred. And everyone, that's all the time I have. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share this video. It would help a lot, and I would appreciate it so much. Everyone, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Okay,